Aries, hey, how are you? Aries, welcome to your love message for the end of March of 2022. Messages for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or anyone who is dealing with an Aries, okay? These messages could be for you. I want you guys to understand to please use your own intuition, judgment, and discernment when watching or listening because these messages are general and they won't resonate to everyone. Now, if the messages do resonate, then awesome. Go ahead and give me a like, please, and hit the subscribe button. And also let me know in the comment box below how everything is working out for you. Aries, I want to take the time to thank you guys so much for your love and support, your positivity, your uh, good vibes. Thank you guys just so, so much. You guys are awesome. I really appreciate you. And as always, I give that energy right back to you. So let's go ahead and look at your love messages, Aries. I'm going to do it a little bit differently than I usually do it. Um, well, because I like changing things <laughs> and how fitting Aries, you are the first sign that's going to get this new spread. So, all right. Messages for Aries end of March, 2022 in love, romance and relationships. Okay. So we Aries, we have conflict and we have swept away. Okay, so Aries, I feel like whoever you're connecting to is presenting, they're presenting an issue to you, okay? So like this is your energies here. We'll go and pull their energies too. But I feel like uh, Aries here, um, you're intrigued. However, the fact that you're intrigued, it does present some sort of conflict. Probably maybe, maybe it's a conflict of interest, okay? Maybe this person is someone that you really... You know, kind of, maybe you're kind of, uh, I don't know, maybe, I don't know. I just feel like there's some particular conflict around the fact that you are actually interested in this individual. Okay. Now let's look at their energy. Now this energy could be anyone that you're connecting to or anyone or the, or the next person that's coming towards you. Okay. And, or it could be anyone, uh, as, well, it could be like anyone that you've dealt with as well. Now, over here, we have elusive and we have the one. Hmm. So this is where the conflict comes through, right? Because it's like you have swept away and then the one energy. And this person, it feels like they, um, to you, it just kind of feels like they are unobtainable. Okay. They're unreachable, maybe. All right. Um, now, for some of you, you could be actually in relationships or in situationships already where you're dealing with an individual who just kind of just seems hard to, you know, they kind of they, they seem hard to track. They seem hard to catch. OK, um, but but you feel like they are a catch. All right, let's look at mutual energies. We got dream lover. We got real deal. We got love nest and then we have love grows. Okay. So what I feel here. Okay. So Aries, um, if maybe if you have just moved in with the person or maybe you guys have just taken the next step in y'all's relationship, I feel like there may be a little bit of growing pains here a little bit, but there are some things that are going to just, uh, there's some things that need to take root. Okay. Like I do feel with the love grows here and the love nest, of course the nest is in the trees and it kind of tells me that like y'all have been, you know, maybe entertaining talks of, you know, just being more serious where like you may be thinking about buying a home or you may be thinking about, you know, decorating a home if you guys are just moving in together like that. Um, but it feels like those conversations are happening here with swept away in the one, you guys definitely feel a lot of uh, pull towards one another. Um, and I think that the both definitely feel as though each of you are like the real deal. You both of you feel as though like this is the person that you ideally would want to be with. The only conflict I see is just that there may be an issue of someone seeming unavailable Aries. Okay. So maybe this person is unavailable due to work. Maybe they're unavailable due to their heart, just not being ready to open up in love. Okay. Um, under the deck, we've got heartbreak, but, uh, what I was saying is maybe they just, you know, they aren't, they, their heart isn't open and available because maybe they have been heartbroken. 
Okay, maybe you have been heartbroken by this person. So in a way, you're kind of conflicted with them, like because you feel like they're the one you're very much in love. You want to grow, you know, but there could be some things that, you know, still you have to clear up about the past here, possibly. But let's go ahead and pull some tarot so that we can go ahead and try to get some things clarified here. Okay, let's clarify this conflict and elusive energies. So we've got the Five of Swords, okay? And then we've got the Judgment card, okay. So on your side, we have the Five of Swords. On their side, we have the Judgment. I feel like maybe a lot of what, I'm, I, for some reason, I get this feeling that they're saying like, I get this energy of like, okay, it's not exactly what it is. Like, yes, they're elusive, but the judgment here is saying that it could be something else that we're not um, immediately jumping to the conclusion of. But the Five of Swords energy with this conflict is saying, Aries, no, there's something going on or there's just something that you just feel like you maybe are taking a back seat to something else and it's causing a conflict or an issue with you here. Yeah, the Four of Cups is leaving you feeling a little bit dis dissatisfied with um, the situation. This is like, uh, did I make the right choice here with this person? And their energy here is the Queen of Swords. Okay, so I get this energy here, Aries, where they're going to be actually communicating to you exactly what these feelings are, okay? Because I think that what it is, is, is um, I think they could... I think that they, it, within the conflict of whatever's going on, I believe that they know exactly what it is and how to tell you. It's like they want you to be the one, they want you to be the one that you grow with, but at the same time that they know that a little bit unavailable uh, emotionally, okay? So what's going on in y'all's thoughts? So you, you got the three of swords going on in your thoughts. So Aries, you might be thinking like, I mean, not three of swords, the three of wands. Aries, you might be thinking like, okay, it's time to go ahead and call in another situation. It may be go already time to go ahead and call in another soulmate, four of wands. Because look, now we got the four of cups here with the four of wands. Yeah, you're not happy. Um, you're definitely not happy in this home environment. Whatever advancement that y'all have made in this relationship, I don't think that you're really all that happy with it, okay? Um, this four of wands and this three of wands is letting me know that you're daydreaming out here. You're, you know, you're thinking up somebody else, you know? Um, hmm. You may have already been swept away up by somebody else and you're feeling that's why. And now it's contributing to you feeling even more dissatisfied in this situation. OK, what's going on in their thoughts? They got the Ten of Cups. So Aries, they really want to be with you. They really want to be with you, but they just have <laughs> they have a really weird way of communicating that. But um, but then they also have the Ten of Wands. OK, so we got the Ten of Cups and the Ten of Wands. So. You know, Aries, this is letting me know that I feel like they, as much as they do want to be with you, like, you know, I feel like they understand that, you know, if this is the end, this is the end. Okay. With the Ten of Wands and the Judgment card and the Queen of Swords, um, you know, it also may be feeling like they may be coming to you saying, hey, Aries, you know what I mean? I know that you may be a little bit unhappy, but what can we do to be happier you know what I mean so they may be trying to come to you with them with more of a solution Aries okay so let's go and see what the uh, intentions are looking like for the both of you guys so we got the prince of cups for you we got the prince of cups and the nine of swords so yeah Aries what it feels like for you is it's like yeah I think that you already know that you're beginning to develop feelings here for another individual possibly a water sign Right. Um, and with the nine of swords energy, I definitely see where it's just kind of mentally it's kind of messing you up because here in this row, it's just like the, we go from the four of swords to the excuse me, the four of wands to the nine of swords. OK. And what I can see is dissatisfaction, like you're comfortable, um, you know, things should be OK right where they're at. But honestly, I do feel a lot of 
Um, you feel like you're compromising a lot. You're not really satisfied. And in fact, something else or someone else may have your interest here. Okay. And with this nine of swords energy, I think that it may be like, all right, you're going to, I think some of you are trying to figure out, okay, how can I back my way out of this situation now that it's actually grown or advanced to, um, to this point? Because, you know, the decisions that you made with this person lets me know that, you know, at one time you were thinking that this was the real deal. Okay. And that's why you chose to grow with this person, but there could be someone else now that wants to do that with you. Okay. What's going on in their intentions? They got the King of Cups. And then the Ace of Swords. Yeah, okay. So Aries, I see your person being able to like emotionally, they're emotionally uh, going to be able to handle this. I feel like they what they really need is they need honesty. I feel like they're going to be speaking a lot of honesty to you. They're going to be kind of in a way speaking their feelings about how much they want this with you in a way for you to go ahead and start speaking your feelings as well. I do feel like they do feel uh, a disconnect. They may be even feeling like you're the one that's elusive, okay? So I do feel like they can feel the disconnect. And so they're gonna be starting the conversations that's gonna be driving the emotion here. And I feel like in this moment is where you're gonna have the opportunity, Aries, to communicate what your conflicts are in this matter, all right? And so under the deck here, we've got the Four of Pentacles. So Spirit is telling me that, um, there, yeah, I feel like there's a lot of holding back that's going on here in this situation. Someone is afraid to get their heart broken, definitely. Um, but with the Four of Pentacles energy, I do feel like Aries, you know, um, you may decide that you want to invest uh, yourself in someone else or other situations outside of this only after the only after you make the decision of beginning to actually start the situation. So, I mean, hmm, I'm just trying to figure out the best way that I can explain that. It's, it's, it's just like you're saying, it's like you get into the situation and then once you're in the situation, this is when you're starting to realize like, oh, okay, mm, I don't like this, I don't like that, or I'm having to compromise here or there. Or you may just be feeling completely dissatisfied. This person deserves the truth from you, Aries, or if this is vice versa, you deserve the truth from them. I do feel like they're a big boy. They can definitely handle it, okay? Um, you know, and I just kind of feel like in a way you will be the one that got away. All right, Aries? So... Um, yeah, I think that's it. I think we'll go ahead and leave the messages there. Let me know how everything works out in the comment box below, you guys. I definitely appreciate your time. Aries, uh, make sure you hit the like button, share, and subscribe. And uh, I'll talk to you later. Take care.